Thanks for joining us on this Friday. I'm Ashley Rowe, the leader of the Seneca Nation crying foul over the state's plans to use casino revenue for a new bill stadium. The dispute between the Senecas and the state began back in 2017 when the nation said it was no longer required to share some of its casino revenue with the state. In 2019, the state won a court ruling saying the Seneca Nation must keep paying its revenue sharing payments. But in turn, the Senecas began withholding payments. Finally, after another court ruling, the state received more than $560 million in outstanding payments just last month. And then Governor Kathy Hochul announced a large chunk of that payment would be used for the Bills Stadium. Now, the Seneca Nation has launched TV and radio ads criticizing Governor Kathy Hochul. Tonight, 7 News senior reporter Eileen Buckley sits down with the Seneca Nation president, who says he was strong-armed. The government chose, the New York State government chose to inflict Albany's ill will against the Seneca Nation and choke us into making a decision which forced their hand to release that payment. Seneca Nation of Indians President Matthew Pagels invited me to his office on the Seneca Reservation in Irving. In late March, the state had all the nation's and Seneca Gaming Corporation's bank accounts frozen. The state made the move after waiting for years for the nation to make casino revenue payments from its Buffalo, Niagara Falls, and Salamanca casinos as part of the casino compact agreement. But Pagel says the state's action nearly shut down vital Seneca Nation services. Diabetes medicine, uh, health healthcare functions, um, you know, homeowners assistance, rents, um, meal service to our elders. Nation leaders were forced to vote in releasing $564 million to the state. But the Seneca leader says the state has violated the terms of the compact agreement over the last two decades. The exclusivity that, that the Seneca Nation has been granted in these 20 years has been, since day one, watered down, deminimized because of internet gaming, uh, VLTs, uh, these racinos that have, ad have adapted to, to, to slot machines that maybe aren't class three, but they are very similar and competitive. Governor Hochul announced she was directing the state's share of more than $418 million in casino funds for construction of a new Buffalo Bills stadium. There was no transparency in what was being done. She just strong-armed the Seneca Nation into releasing payment for, for the Bills stadium. The Senecas launched television and radio ad campaigns across the state, criticizing the governor for using the funds to pay for an NFL stadium. See it for what it is, misuse of funds and the continued mistreatment of Native people. Why are you upset with what they use that money for? The lion's share of that exclusivity isn't the nation's. It's up to New York State to decide how they, how they spend it. Um, but to wake up on a Tuesday morning knowing that the turmoil that was caused by New York State's government internally. I think that was a stab in the heart and a true testament to her character to say that, you know, good faith with us is out the window. Marie Williams is a Seneca member. The Seneca's casino compact expires at the end of 2023. But Williams says she's not in favor of a new compact deal with the state. I don't think our compact should be renewed. I think it needs to be new. And I think there's a lot of um, things that need to be settled between the nation and the state before we even sit at the table. I have reached out to the state twice on the casino revenue topic, but have yet to receive a response. The Seneca president tells me his leadership was holding internal casino compact talks today, but they want to begin new negotiations with New York State as soon as possible. Eileen Buckley, 7 News, Irving.